Megan, you have another bathroom project for us. This one's a little more relaxing than the last one. Yeah, we're gonna make a simple bathtub tray so that you could have a piece of wood that goes over the bathtub that you can put a book on or a glass of wine. Your laptop, whatever you need in the bath. That might be a little risky. To tackle this project, we'll need a tape measure, pencil, metal detector, drill, handles, screws, clamps, a sander, a paintbrush, polyurethane, and our safety gear. You'll also need a miter saw and, of course, a piece of wood. I think Megan has a few of those laying around here. Let's go outside and pick out a nice piece of wood that we can use. But it's so cold out. Come on. All right. <laughs> we love the look and history of reclaimed wood, but feel free to save yourself a step and buy a piece of lumber from a hardware store where they can cut it down for you. Megan, that is one good looking piece of reclaimed wood. So now we just need to measure our 30 inches, which will just surpass the width of the tub, and then we can get a cut. I think I could take my coat off first. Yeah, I guess so. All right, We're let's inside do it. now. Let's do it. After we take off our coats, we get to work. We measure out 30 inches on our piece of wood and mark it. If you do use reclaimed wood, stay safe and make sure you go over it with a metal detector before you cut into it. Now, we're ready to make our cuts. First, for a 30 inch piece and two more to make the blocks that are going to be fastened to the underside of the tray to secure the wood from slipping into the tub. Based on the length of our handles, we measure and mark where to drill the holes to attach them. Okay, so now that we have our holes marked, we're gonna go ahead and turn this, we'll clamp it, and then we can go ahead and drill through. And then we're just gonna wanna try to go as straight as possible because that will make it easier for this to feed through. Megan drills one hole and I drill the other, and we repeat the process on the other end. We're gonna wanna give the whole board a good sanding, and then while we have the sander out, we're gonna do these as well. Okay, let me put my mask on. So Megan, everything is sanded, now we just need to attach these two boards, right? Exactly. So we're just gonna wanna go right inside where our holes are. So we're gonna wanna go four inches in. And then you're gonna wanna hold it down good in that spot. And yeah, we're just gonna do like two right about there. Okay. That's good, that's good. Sorry, we don't wanna go all the way through it. Whoops, that was close. After making our pilot holes, we drive the screws into the holes. Okay, so you can see where that's gonna fit right inside the bathtub. And we can go ahead and give this a clear coat and then we'll put our handles on. Sounds perfect. We let the poly seal dry for an hour and now it's time to make sure all of our measurements were right. Megan, our tub tray is done. I think it looks really, really cool. Now we probably just need to take it upstairs, put it on the bathtub, see if, see if it works. Let's try it out. Bam. Perfect. Just like that. You know what? I think it looks awesome. And really, it's an inexpensive project that took us less than an hour to put together. We pretty much use all scrap pieces, leftover handles from another project, and small cutoff pieces below. Megan, thanks a lot. You always have the best creative wood projects.